Happy Friday, even though every day kind of feels like a Friday to me because I got no job. <laughs> I kind of have been wanting to do kind of like a sit down video to kind of bring everyone up to speed as to what's going on with our assignments and everything just happening. And I need to get ready real quick. And I wanted to use the ring light to kind of get that good light. And um, I was like, hmm what better time to talk about everything than while I get ready since I needed to set up the light that might have been like a too long of an explanation to tell you why I'm like sitting like this but here we are and this is what happened so <laughs> I'm getting ready for the day I am by no means a makeup beauty guru I don't think of myself that way but I do like this light for when I put my makeup on so I kind of set everything up so I can chat with you guys and catch you up on everything going on and just talk about a lot of things that have been on my mind and that's what we're doing. So let me put this leave-in conditioner on really quick. This little headband thing I got when I ordered my facial steamer when I was in South Texas during one of my assignments. Hold on, let me get my coffee real quick. I was suffering from really dry skin and just having like the N95 was like really messing with my skin, which I'm still dealing with right now. So I ordered a facial steamer off of uh, Vanity Planet and this cute little headband came with it. It was free. I am back home at my parents' place. Justin dropped me off here yesterday, late last night after dinner. My parents live an hour or so away from Dallas, which is where um, Justin's apartment is. He dropped me off here last night because my car was supposed to be delivered here yesterday and then late last night the driver was telling me that he was a little delayed and I actually wouldn't be able to get my car till today. I guess I should just kind of explain what's going on in my life right now because it's pretty chaotic. If you've seen my previous vlogs you know that I was doing a eight week assignment doing a float pool a crisis float pool in California we actually came back to Dallas just to visit a couple weeks ago. Left my car there, like a lot of stuff was in my car still, and I don't know what is up with this foundation. Um, dang, this thing is like jacked. And so we've been in Dallas for a couple weeks now, and my car is finally getting transported to Dallas because our contracts ended because the census were so low at our facilities. And since I've been home, it was, you know, nice at first to kind of just relax and be away from everything. But as days went on, I was just filled with a lot of anxiety and like, oh my gosh, I think it's time for me to go back to work. And I have been feeling that really hard the past couple days, maybe past couple weeks, I think, um, because I haven't worked in a while. One of the videos I did want to post on my channel were, was to sit down and talk to you about like the pros and cons of being a travel therapist what life is like in between assignments and instead of just sitting down and talking to you about it because I feel like that's just I'm just not a great talker like that I feel like a like, more casual approach is better because I feel like I'm living one of the major cons of being a travel therapist especially now with the pandemic we're seeing the other side of it where the numbers are going down thankfully I'm so happy about that but finding an assignment is definitely different than what it's been the past couple months so i was like man i want to do this pros and cons video man i might as well just show y'all what's going on <laughs> so one of the major cons about being a travel rt for me because i don't have my own home apartment i guess you can say is just my stuff is everywhere so if you notice in the past couple of videos I've been wearing the same thing, it's because that's all I had. So I tr I went over to Justin's place and I was there for like a week and I basically just had this bag with like one sweater, one workout outfit, like barely anything. And 
that's why that's what I had when I got the vaccine. I think I like vlogged about the vaccine and I was like, man, I've been wearing the same sweater every day. These people think I got no clothes. It's been so frustrating because some of my stuff still at Justin's. Most of my stuff from traveling is at my parents' house and then a majority of my stuff is in a storage unit that's about 15 minutes from my parents' house. And without my own car, it's been really tough getting from place to place. So I've just been so stressed out because everything is everywhere and I definitely want to get everything situated before I leave for my next assignment. When I went to California, my, my luggage was full of winter stuff and now it's spring so I need to switch everything over and you know even last year when I was doing a bunch of assignments back to back. I, it was the same thing, but the thing was I was always on the go. Like I would only be home for like a week or so and my luggage was always packed. Like I always had a bag ready to go because I never knew when I was going to leave. And now being home for a couple weeks, it's like, oh my gosh, like I don't know where half my things are anymore. Like, and it's been hard for me to go anywhere because I don't have a car. So as a traveler, life can be pretty chaotic sometimes when you're in one place and you're never really in one place for too long that is one of the cons of being a traveler on top of that being home i have been actively looking for another assignment and that's something i definitely want to talk about because as an rt and i i don't know how if other people are experiencing the same thing i've been experiencing but since the numbers are going down the packages are definitely different from what it's been there are definitely fewer crisis packages thankfully i can be off for this long and it was nice to be off this long because i was able to kind of regroup and just mentally recharge myself and work on this youtube channel with that being said it's like okay yeah i'm not in a rush to like work because of that it's just like man i'm just like ready to go back to work you know but now that the numbers are going down the pay packages are lower which is to be expected like i I'm, I'm very really realistic when it comes to that but the number one thing I've been finding that's been kind of hard is that before it was so easy to go to another state and just start working because you could do a temporary license. But now that um, things are changing, a lot of states are requiring you to already have a permanent state respiratory license there. So when I worked in California, I've always had a temporary emergency license. And I think California actually still allows you to get used a temporary license I'm not quite sure a lot of the packages that are higher paying are in these states like that are requiring a more permanent license so even if you do find a pay package that is something you're looking for you still have to go through the process of getting your license from there which I've never had to do before every day I like wake up look at assignments see if there's something interesting talk to my recruiter and then if I have to go sign up for a license there, I'm going to have to go do that. I only have my license in Texas. Right now, what I'm seeing is Texas has some of the higher paying packages, but Florida also has some pretty high packages. So I went ahead and applied for my respiratory license in Florida. And the turnaround is supposed to be like one to three days. It's been about a week. <laughs> and I think it's because other people are doing the same thing, you know? Yeah, it's just been a process of trying to lock down an assignment. And it's not that it's hard for RTs to find an assignment right now. It's just hard to, for me, it's just hard to decide on what to get. So within the past couple of weeks, I've had like four assignments that we're up for negotiation and it was either we couldn't come to an agreement or the contracts fell through. It's just been a process of like trying to find an assignment. And obviously I still haven't found one that I'm happy with and wanting to start. So here I am. If any of you guys are having the same experience, let me know down below so I don't feel crazy and alone. I've always known that there was going to be a time where things were going to change and they were going to change quick once the vaccine rolled out. So... These were all things I was expecting and knew, but doesn't make it any less stressful. <laughs> so yeah, so I thought I would take you along with me this weekend since I am in between assignments and I'm just at home. So today uh, my sister is coming over. Oh wait, my sister's here, hold on. Hey guys, welcome to the YouTube channel. This week on the vlog. 
<laughs> I'm a respiratory therapist, so I know how to put my makeup on. I never wear makeup at work. Come on, focus, focus, homie. Focus, focus. This is what all the RTs wear right now. Okay, you're done. Let's turn her off. We're in line for Starbucks. This is my second coffee for the day. Gotta feed her, or caffeine her up, and then we'll see where the day takes us. I got a little snack. Starbucks. I asked for the chickpea and avocado, but they were out. So this is all they had left. I already ate an egg and was starving. So my sister's been raving about this. It's a brown sugar one, but they were out of brown sugar, so they replaced it with uh, toffee. So we're gonna see if it tastes good. This is the first time I've ever had it. All right, here we go. Oh, that's really sweet. It's almost 10 o'clock and I went out to dinner with my cousins after I hung out with my sister and the people that were supposed to drop off my car were like, we're on the way there. I was like, I'm not there yet. Can you guys come later? I told them when I was coming home and I think I hear them outside. So let's go check it out. It is move out day. Uh, today is the day that we're finally moving out of Justin's apartment. So, instead of moving everything out of his apartment, he actually ended up getting another apartment. So we're basically moving down the street. I'm just waiting for him, he's inside. Uh, I'm getting paperwork so we can go get the keys to his apartment. And on top of that, today I am getting a haircut. I know, this was like such a self-care week. The other day, on Monday, I think it was on Monday, yeah. On Monday, we both got massages because I have one of those like massage memberships here in Dallas. And I guess, ooh, that's really loud. Um, I forgot that I had it because I guess I booked it or I bought it before I left for California. They called me on Sunday and they were like, you actually have two credits on your account that I haven't used yet. So um, Justin got a massage, I got one. And then yesterday I got my lashes done. And then today I'm getting my hair cut. Something, so, I'm just so excited about it. Um, I don't know how drastic it's gonna be yet. I haven't decided yet. So it probably is gonna be very drastic because I'm super sporadic like that, but we will see. So as far as an update with the contracts, every day new assignments are popping up and the pay packages are changing every day as well. So this morning I woke up and I was talking to one of my recruiters, just talking about the packages that are out there and assignments I would want to get submitted to. Two of the assignments I got submitted to and was really wanting ended up not taking any more applicants yesterday because I guess they just had so many people apply for it. Uh, and that just seems to be what's going on right now. It's been a pretty stressful situation. I think I've reached my peak on how stressed out I am about trying to find another assignment. I'm just ready to go. Ready to start working and start traveling again. Now that I have my car, it helped alleviate a lot of the things that I was feeling because I feel like okay now I can go and do these things that I want to do but I'm just ready to start working having a routine having a consistent place to stay those are the kind of things that I'm missing and that stress me out right now so yeah so whenever Justin gets here we're gonna move him into his apartment and then I will get my hair cut later much. I'm eating lunch now. Well, I was getting my hair cut. The movers came and moved stuff over to the new apartment. So now I am packing the kitchen. Justin went to the new apartment to drop stuff off. I'm having some lunch, watching the office. <sighs> yes. 
Almost done, almost done. It is 10.43 and just finishing here. I still haven't eaten dinner. I needed my bag. 